Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined right now by the one and only Colin of In Your Grave! Give me a hell yeah! Yes, sir! What's up, brother? How are you doing today? Good, how are you guys? We are fantastic. Uh, this is JB. He's my co-host today. He goes by JB Music 661. Uh, Colin, for those that, that may not know you, sir, can you properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment and plug and promote anything and everything. Yeah. Yeah, my name's Colin Anderson. I play in uh, In Your Grave. Uh, that's about all I got going on right now, currently. Where are you located at the moment? Uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake City. Okay, not too far from us. How long has In Your Grave been around for? Uh, this is going to be our third year. Were you in previous projects before this, or is this like your first full-time band job? Yeah, this is kind of the first full time thing. I played around in a couple local bands, but nothing to like this extent. Would you, were you also vocals in the local bands, or did you do you play instruments also? Nah, just vocals as well. Hell yeah, very cool. Well, uh, let's jam a song so people know what you sound like. Then we'll get to some more questions. This is Red Dust. If you guys are feeling it, please go on Spotify, hit the follow button, support them, go on YouTube, smack that subscribe button. <laughs> I did the videos. This video came out like pretty, pretty solid. Yeah, this is uh, Tim Burton from. He's in Utah. He's local out here. He doesn't work with like Chelsea Grin and stuff though. But his name's Tim Burton. Yeah, I know. Crazy quiz. What? Hey yo, what the hey, yo. fuck? Do your own production, or who's a particular producer that you work with? Uh, we've been working with Blue uh, over at Bamboo Audio for this one. Bamboo Down Audio. Salt Lake City. He did just the single, or he did yeah. uh, like most of your most of your stuff. Yeah, he's done everything up until now. Hell yeah, very cool. Uh, JB, go ahead and shoot a question or two off. Yeah, so you are the vocalist of uh, of this of this band, of course. Were you? I would say like 10, 15 years ago, were you trying to be in this spot? Or is this something that just came the last couple of years for, for you, the last three years? Yeah, it kind of kind of came over just kind of recently, I guess. Not too recently, but uh, when I was like 18, about like uh, 10 years ago now, uh, my buddy, my brother-in-law, uh, Justin and me, we opened up a venue in Salt Lake called The Loading Docks. And so uh, running The Loading Docks, uh, just eventually we decided to make a band so we could open up for bands and have more local support and stuff like that. Hell yeah. So, so you're, you're there like, cause your buddy, you're probably getting free every show. I imagine the perks of, of having a buddy open the venue, but then you get to see all these kick-ass bands and you're like, bro, we got to open for these guys. So you, that's kind of how in your grave just started. Yeah. Between me and him, I was running all this. So I was doing the management of the venue and then he was the sound guy. And between the two, I was doing all the booking and then he was doing all the sound stuff. So it was pretty nice uh, partnership. Hell yeah. Uh, do you have any interesting or weird vocal warm up techniques? Shoot. Not really. I'm the worst at warming up, man. I just kind of yell for it. <laughs> for sure. To just do a little Thursday. Blah, blah, blah. I'm ready. One of those. Oh yeah, that's Hell funny because yeah. that's like 60, 70 percent of people that come on here and we interview is like, no, nah, I just go scream. It's it, like it's so it funny. blows my mind because there's other people that are like, yeah, I need thirty minutes in a room. I've got my mu music on. I got my lemon tea. I'm doing my blue, 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 like all the weird techniques people do to warm up. And some people are just like, I just go blah one time and I'm ready. And I'm like, all right, cool. Oh, yeah. works. As long as I can smoke a bowl or something beforehand, that helps smoke out a lot. Weed every day. That helps out a lot for everything. <laughs> Good call. Colin, did you bring some hot sauce? Oh, oh yeah. Excellent. What is Kaboom. That? Kaboom habanero. All right, cool. Uh, the uh, the cool uh, thing yeah. about the hot sauce is you get to pick the trivia. I need a second to look up the trivia once I ask the question, JB, so you'll be asking another question here in a second. But uh, Colin, what, what movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. Probably Pokemon, honestly. The Pokemon movie with with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, yeah, that works. Okay, 
I, I'll look up a bunch of Pokemon movie trivia and see what I can find. JB, jump in. Let me see what I what I what comes up. So, are you guys currently still opening up at that uh, that venue, or do you guys have plans on going out of Utah? Uh, so we actually just shut down the venue in November. Um, we had a shooting, and so uh, the city was like, no more shows. So we had to shut down. Um, but since then, we've taken touring and stuff like that a lot more seriously. We t- we got a booking agency uh, over at Wavelink uh, who's been helping us out, and then we got a management over at Pinup. So between the two of them, they've been helping us out a lot. Wait, wait, Pinup, Pinup uh, management agency out of California? Yep, we just got signed with them. Oh, like, that's awesome! Two weeks ago. That's my homie David. Ah, for real, yeah. yeah. Yeah, David. David's Where's awesome. Ryan? Awesome, cool guy. And uh, and oh, I'm on the spot. I don't remember her name. Claire. I want to say Claire Reese, but that's not right. But anyway, uh, yeah, David's super cool. Let's see if we can stump you on the trivia and uh, regarding Pokemon. Now, the Pokemon, I believe it's the like the first Pokemon movie, the cartoon Perfect. one with Ash and everything. Here we go. <laughs> Name the three islands Ash must travel to in order to get all three treasures. Uh, shoot, man. I don't know. You got me. I got you? Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> enjoy enjoy the hot sauce. I'll join you as well. You said habanero. So I'll grab uh, a habanero right here. And uh, while, right. while we're suffering, we'll ask you some more questions. Uh, Colin, if, if you could have any guest vocalist cheers on on a track big or small living or dead who would you pick probably ash nico why that person in particular uh she's pretty weird she's like in a rap project um i just think her style is kind of unique i think between the two of us it just kind of make a cool collaboration hell yeah was it was it spicy or are you you doing all right I'm pretty all right. I love hot stuff. Okay, me too. I have a, I have a vast collection of hot sauce. Um, let's see. If we were to play a second song, what would you like us to play? Probably sick. With uh, with Taylor. Yeah. Yeah, we had Taylor on like a week ago. Super cool dude. Down to earth guy. Um, blowing up left and right. Everything he touches is blowing up. As is this jam oh, right dude. here. Oh. Sick. From In Your Grave featuring Taylor Barber of Left to Suffer. Yeah, that one's fire too. For real. God damn. Bangers. Oh, we're going to give you a redemption trivia question, by the way. I feel like if I stump someone on the first one, I try to make it a little bit easier <laughs> for the second one. Now, this is from the, the movie that came out in 2000. So I think it's a little bit newer. Twenty, Still 23 years old, but... In Pokemon the movie 2000, titled The Power of One... Where does the movie take place? It's in the Johto region. It's 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 a specifically saying it's an island with a name. I, I don't know then. It's the legendary double stump. We got him, bitch. <laughs> Orange Islands is what we were looking for. Had you got it correct, we would have spun this wheel right here. See what we got. All right, chat, we're going to need your help. Do you have any weird questions for Colin while we have him here? Please just ask anything anything crazy you want to ask. Uh, obviously, if it gets him in trouble, he's not going to answer it. But if that's okay with you, we're gonna ask some kind of odd, crazy questions. I'll I'll start. Uh, what what is a genre completely non-metal that you listen to that we wouldn't expect? Uh, I listen to like a lot of like lo-fi, just video game music and stuff like that as I'm doing work or whatever. Chat says, "Have you ever really seen a Pokemon movie?" Because <laughs> we stuck no, twice. Like Sorry. twice, and I fall asleep every time. <laughs> for sure i do really like the uh the ryan reynolds one that one was, I, my son watches it all the time so i've seen it like 10 times it's pretty damn good um what's your favorite fruit shoot probably banana banana's a good one i think my favorite fruit is either an orange 
and or a kiwi. JB, what's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit has to be cherries. For sure. There you go. With, with the seeds in them, though? Yeah, I like. I don't mind spitting it out a little bit. The seed ones taste better, I think, than the than yeah. the Marciano like ice cream sundae style cherries. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Those ones are just oh like, yeah, nah. too sugar. Colin, I what got is... a weird question. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Colin, if it, someone came up to you at a show and was like, "Hey, yo, bro, take off your shoe right now, pour your drink in it, and let's have a shoey," would you do it? Yeah, probably. See, that's what I'm talking about. So you're on the show right now. Would you take off your shoe and drink out of it right now? I'll do it too. I'll do it too. Oh, we're putting you on the spot, Shit. Colin. Right. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I gotta grab Hell a yeah. pen, but I'm okay with it. Well, let's go. Let's do it. And then uh, while while we're setting that up, just go ahead and rattle off what the band's goals are for 2023. When he gets Dude, back, I definitely want to hit its floor. And then we're finishing up our. EP right now and hopefully have that done by May is our goal. What's the best sandwich from Subway? We're still getting weird questions coming in. Uh, it's got to be the monster. The what the, is it with the, the new menu? Something cheese, off the new yeah, menu. The cheese steak one. Okay. Yeah. Do you put pineapple on pizza? Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> I do too. No black olives though for me, but just about anything else I'll take. Jeez. So we're hanging out with Colin of In Your Grave. If you're just tuning in, he's a super cool dude. Please, please support his band any way you can. Just start by going to Spotify, hit the follow button. You'll see it right here on the screen. That's how you know you're at the right place. Or jump over to the YouTube, type uh to the YouTube. To YouTube and type in your grave. It'll look just like this. That's how you know you found the right one. Please hit the subscribe button there. And Bottoms up, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Shoeys are friends. Look at him go. What a champ. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. That was awesome. Uh, so a tour, you said. The EP's almost done. Is there is there a rough timetable for when we could expect the EP to be released? Like summertime, shortly after, before? To probably in the fall, we're hoping at least by, I want to say by at least by August. Okay, cool. We'll look forward to it. Um, JB, we, let's do uh, final questions. We I feel like we rattled off a lot of questions today, real quick. I know. It's like 20 questions real quick. That's <laughs> uh, my question would be is, do you do you personally play any instruments or do you, are you just a vocalist? Uh. I mean, I kind of like pitter patter with some instruments, uh, but for the most part, I run sound pretty well. I have like an X32 soundboard and I do a lot of lighting stuff. So I'm more of like a behind the scenes kind of guy. I could do your light show, I could run your sound, but probably couldn't pick up your guitar for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very good. At, I'm not very good at hardly any instruments besides. Well, I'm not very good at any instruments, I'll say, but uh <laughs> Uh, let's do my final question for Colin would be, uh, being in a band, a lot of times bands make, make mistakes. Is there a particular mistake maybe in your grave made that you don't want a band that's, let's say just formed this week, they're, they're in their garage practicing and you just your advice then is don't do this or focus on this as a band. Like what, what is advice you could give them? Well, one that bit us in the butt recently is always remember when you're tracking guitars to keep the DI, because uh, sometimes you might want to change the guitar tone later on. Right. So you didn't do it like MIDI style. You did it like direct, direct in. So it, the sound is what it is. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. We recorded it with the amp instead of just recording it like without the amp and all the effects and stuff like that. It does make it a lot harder to change the sound. Like it kind of gets like distorted and stuff if you go that route. But uh, you learn your lesson. Won't do it again. I'm sure. <laughs> nope, for sure. Hell yeah. Well, Colin, if there's anything else you'd like to plug or promote, now's the time. Time is yours. And uh, other than that, we appreciate your time, brother. Nah, dude, just come check us out on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube. And I appreciate the support, guys. I 
thanks for having us out. Absolutely. If if it's cool with you, come come August, give or take, like we mentioned, uh, like you mentioned, maybe we can do a follow up once the EPs release and just touch base and see what you're up to. Yeah, well, it's definitely. I would love that. Hell yeah, awesome, ladies and gentlemen, support in your grave any way you can. This is Colin, and we're saying, give me a hell yeah. Give Thank me you, brother. Hell yeah. Thanks, Colin. We appreciate it. Uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. Okay.